Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to change the speed of the audio files that you're working with in Audacity. You will be able to either speed up or slow down the speed of the music without changing the pitch. Let's get started. So you're gonna to wanna to have Audacity open and you want to import the file that you're working with. You can either go up here to file and then import audio and that will choose uh, the files on your computer. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, which if you've seen one of my other videos, I work with this file a lot. And once you have your file open, what you wanna do is you wanna select the portion of the music that you wanna speed up or slow down. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and work with this entire track. To select the entire track, I can either click in this gray area right here and that's selected everything. When it gets highlighted, that means it's selected. Or you can also go up to select all. So once it's selected and highlighted, in order to, let's say, slow down the speed of this track, I will go up to effect. Let's Before we do that, let's go ahead and just listen to this so you can hear the speed right now. So you heard this speed that it's currently at. Now in order to change the speed, uh, you wanna go up to effect, and then you're going to go up to change tempo. Um, do not click on change speed, that will change the pitch as well. So we wanna do this without changing the pitch, so change tempo, and you can see when this comes up, it says you're gonna be able to change the tempo without changing the pitch. Now this will change the speed by a certain percent change. So I've got it here, you can just slide this bar. If you put it at zero, that means it will be exactly the same length. So you can see down here, the tempo stays the same. So let's go ahead and speed up, or sorry, we wanna slow down. So we wanna make this slower. So let's go about like a 20% slower. I'm gonna press, oh, you can press preview if you want. Uh, and then to make sure that you get good quality, you wanna make sure you have this checked here, use high quality stretching. So I'm gonna have this okay. And then when you have the high quality checked, it takes a little while for it to apply the tempo change. This is a small track, so it's uh, you know only taking maybe 10 seconds here. But if you have a very large track, this could take a couple minutes. So okay, now that I've got that, and if you want, if you wanna do that without waiting for it, you can do the preview instead. Okay, let's go ahead and listen to this now and see what the speed is. So you can hear it is slower and it is in the same key that we were in before. So you now know how to slow down the speed of the track. If you want to undo anything, you just control Z and that will undo your last move. You can also go up to edit and then undo. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this next example. I'm going to speed up a portion of it. And let's speed up this part right here. So in order to select a portion, you want to have this selection tool uh, highlighted and then go ahead and then once you see this uh, small eye, italic eye kind of uh, icon, you can just drag and then you can see the highlighted part. And then now that I have that highlighted, I'm going to go up to effect and again, change tempo. Now, instead of slowing it down, I'm going to speed it up. So let's go maybe 50% uh, faster or something like that. And you can always just uh, highlight that and then put in the percent change if you can't find it on the dial. And you can see that the length of that selection will be two seconds, not a 1.4. Again, I'm gonna use high quality. I, the, the quality is much better whenever you have that selected. So I'm gonna press okay. And it'll take a couple seconds. And then now you can see it's it's shrank the piece, so it made it faster in the middle there. So let's go ahead and listen to this from the beginning. So you can see it sped up the part that I had selected without changing the uh, tempo. And again, if you notice any um, distortions or anything, you can go ahead and play with some other effects. Um, some things that may work for you is the repair. You have to select a very small portion of where the distortion may have happened and that might work. You can also mess with the reverb and some other things that might help with um, finessing out any distortions you might have. Uh, but as you can hear, it, it sounds pretty uh, good, at least with this uh, recording. So again, to recap, uh, in order to change your speed of your piece without changing the pitch, just go up to, uh, you select whatever you'd like to select, go up to effect change tempo, and then um, you'll make sure you have a selection. So change tempo, and then you've got this where you can change. You actually can also change it from a certain beats per minute as well, if you instead of, instead of doing the percent change. And again, you can always preview your change here and then that way you might save yourself, you know, a lot of um, time. And so that gives you an idea there too. Now, if for some reason you're still curious about how to change the speed of your piece with changing the pitch. Uh, instead of using the change tempo, you go to up to effect and you use the change speed. And then whenever you put the speed multiplier in, it'll give you a cha percentage change. And let's go ahead and just uh, do a quick example. So I'm gonna press okay. And you're gonna notice that it, it made it faster, but it's also gonna make it a much higher pitch. And so that's the effect that you would use if you wanna change the pitch with 
the, um, the, the speed as well. Um, if you do that and you want to somehow normalize it, what you need to do is then uh, slow down your piece again. So it's uh, it, it makes it easier if you just uh, have in mind what you want to accomplish and then only try to use one effect at a time when you're using speed and tempo. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, you'll notice that the file will, will eventually, uh, you know, have some distortions and those kinds of things you might run into. So you now know how to change the speed of the music that you are creating in Audacity. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.